Data analytics. We hear about data all the time. Companies fight with regulators about how much data they're allowed to collect, and our devices have become a key part of our lives. We take pictures, use Google Maps to find a restaurant, visit websites, watch videos, send messages, and for everything we do, we generate a lot of data. While data can be used for bad things, it can also be used for lots of good. By using new technologies to track and measure the health of patients, we can select the right treatments for patients and even find new ones. But data is only as good as what we do with it. Raw data isn't useful at all. It's like an uncut gem. Raw data holds potential that only the right expertise can unlock. And this is where data analytics comes in. Now, using data to improve our lives isn't a new thing at all. It's been happening for thousands of years. For example, back in ancient Egypt, people already used it to grow crops and predict floods so that people could feed their families and not starve. Data analytics is about turning raw data into gold, or as we call it, data into insights. It's not just about numbers and graphs, it's about understanding the story the data is telling us. To do this effectively, we have a process called the data analytics lifecycle. You start by asking a question or figuring out the problem you want to solve. For example, we may want to figure out what products are selling the best and what products are selling the least, and any other important information that we can use to improve our store. Once you understand these objectives and the requirements, you can move on to collecting the necessary data. It can be available in a database, a simple spreadsheet, or anywhere else, and you may have to even collect it yourself. Next, we have to clean the data. We need proper, clean data to be able to draw good conclusions from this data, so it's very important. Next, you'll try to understand the data and what it's trying to tell us during the data exploration phase. You want to understand and analyze data to spot trends, patterns, and useful insights. But these insights aren't so useful if we can't show it to people, so we create effective visualizations using tools like Tableau, Power BI, or just directly with Python or Excel. Communication is a significant part of data analytics because it's how the insights flow to the rest of the company where they're actually needed. Now, a data analyst has an average salary of about 90,000 in the US. We have the entry level analyst with a salary of around 50 to 60. We have the mid level analyst with a salary of around 70 to 90,000. And then we have the senior level with around 90 to 120,000 per year. Now, it's impossible to give you a more precise number because it depends on where and what company you work for, as well as your experience. Now, there are many different ways to start a career in data analytics and your options will depend on your prior experience or education. A degree is going to be very helpful, but even if you come from a non-technical background or you have zero relevant experience or education, you can still start a career in data analytics. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to be super easy. It is pretty competitive, especially at the entry level, but you can do it. Your options are university or self-studying, for example, using online courses or boot camps or other material online. You can find a lot of great free resources online, for example, on YouTube. After you take some courses, it's a great idea to work on your own projects and build your portfolio as soon as possible, because this is going to help you get hired. Now, you can also take a bootcamp, and I'm really happy to partner with Course Careers because they have an excellent data analytics course to help you get a job, no experience or degree required. They're rated 4.8 by hundreds of their students on Career Karma, 4.9 on Trustpilot, and 4.9 on Course Report as well, by hundreds of people, so you don't have to take my word for it. Their data analytics course includes everything you need. The foundations of data analytics, Excel, Tableau, SQL, and building portfolio projects. They also have free weekly coaching sessions with experts in the field. And why I recommend it is because it doesn't cost thousands of dollars like most boot camps do. It's actually very affordable. You can enroll and try it out for free as well. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. Now, I want to be honest, I don't think a boot camp is a good idea for everyone. You can also learn by yourself or take another route and be just as successful as when you take a boot camp. And I'll put my free data analytics roadmap as well in the description. But if you prefer learning intensively with a clear path, some career coaching and accountability from others, it could be worth checking out. Again, not for everybody, but for some people, it could be really helpful. I'll leave a link in the description where you can try it out for free. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an amazing week.